Hello everybody, I'm Argelfumpf, and this is a video walkthrough for Carol Reed, Amos Green's Final Repose. It's game number 17 in the Carol Reed series. This is an adventure game series, it's about a British detective who lives in Sweden. She's going to be investigating the death of Amos Green who is a homeless man who was found in the woods. I'm going to skip the tutorial and get straight to the game. It's hard to fathom that another year has gone by. Almost no appointments in the calendar makes it difficult to keep track of time. It's even hard to keep track of the seasons when you're supposed to stay indoors all the time. In case you can't tell from Carol's comments, uh, this game was made during the second year of the coronavirus pandemic. Yeah, it was made in 2021. Yeah, it's currently... Year number three of the pandemic. I, I hope it ends sometime soon. I mean, I can only play so many video games at home. That is a lot of video games. Just a ton of video games. All right, so here in the gaming room, we have this. I found this at an auction. It's a flashlight. I've never seen a flashlight which looks like that before. It's a very fancy looking flashlight. I think the other thing to look at in her house is this. These have lost their fragrance ages ago. We can't pick this item up yet, but we are going to get it at some point in the game. Uh, same with uh, the bedroom. I think we're going to pick up this pantyhose at some point. Yeah, but not right now. Not right now. You might have noticed Carol has a big thing of wine in her bedroom. I think that's the biggest proof that this game was made in the middle of a pandemic where you were not allowed to leave your house ever. Ugh. The washing machine is broken and I've got so much laundry to take care of. Yeah, let's take care of the laundry. So if you want to make sure you haven't missed anything, you can press the space bar. It shows that we've got these two items we can pick up. We've got Ariel. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing. And uh, this is her kitchen. Lots of food. Uh, we've got Bregot and Bearnaise. Is that mayonnaise? Does mayonnaise have something to do with bears in Sweden? I don't know. That'd be cool. I quit caffeine. So I could just as well toss this. This is another item. This is another item that we'll use later on in the game. So that's kind of a clever way the game went about this. Is It's like, okay, Carol talks about something. That's your clue. The item will be used later on in the game. And I think this is even, even more alcohol. That might be way too much alcohol. That is enough alcohol for you to wash your head with. I, I don't know about that. That's, that's a bit too much for me. Okay, so downstairs is the laundry. Laundry room right over here. So we put in the aerial. Then we close this. Then we open up this and put in the clothes. That didn't sound right. Ah, oh, wait, my phone is in there. Look at my phone. I've got all sorts of things I can do. Ooh, text messages. Cool. Nice. Alrighty, I'm just gonna let the laundry go. I'm not gonna wait 300 minutes. Yeah, that's, that's way too long to wait for laundry. Definitely, definitely. Oh, hey, and it's a good thing I've got my phone. I just got a text message from, from my best friend, Stina, who works at the library. When this icon blinks in the top left corner, a new location has been added to the map. Yeah. And I think that's everything. Let's just go meet Stina. 
La 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 Huh, this is a library? That went fast. Hmm, well, I mean, it looks like a library on the inside. Okay, so hey, Stina, why are you working on Sunday? Yes, I had to go here to acquire some information. Okay, and what did you find? Earlier this week, they found a dead man in the Herzog Forest. Look here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so he has been dead for eight years. You know, found in an abandoned forest eight years. That's how long he's been dead. So what's the kicker? The police have been in contact with me. The dead man had my name and address in his pocket. But you don't know him, do you? I've never heard of him. But I've done some research. His name is Amos Green. I found this article. Yeah. So this is our mystery. This man died eight years ago. He has some connection to my best friend, Stina. I need to figure out what that connection is. He used to be a boxer back in the 70s. And then he decided to become a church person. He thought boxing was too violent for uh, his religion. Boxing is kind of violent. It's a bunch of people punching each other over and over and over again. So did you find anything else? Yes. He didn't seem to have any relatives. Can you please check it out? Okay, I'll do my best. Can I keep the articles? Of course. I've already made you copies. Alright, so another mystery for me to solve. He was found somewhere near the feeding station. That's what the article said, right? So here, I believe we're going to just go through the woods. We can look inside this room. I don't think there's an item here. Yeah, no item. Looks cool though, huh? We're just gonna go, and then to the left we have the dead man's purse. I think it's the dead man's purse. So the solution to this puzzle is two, four, three, one. That's the park where all the hobos meet. All right, a very well-preserved note, since this is from, like, eight years ago. So he was going to meet uh, a guy named Elam. So both Amos and Elam were uh, hobos. They're, they're, they're both hobos. They both didn't have houses. So we're going to go to the hobo park, and hopefully we'll find somebody who knows them. Maybe we'll even meet Elam. Wouldn't that be good for us? Here at the Triangle Park. Ooh, I like the bench. That's a pretty good bench. That's a great bench. I think we can... I've seen those mammoth benches somewhere else. I think we could zoom in on them. Like, giant bench! Not really cool to have a view of a tree, though. Like, I'm trying to sit on a bench and a tree got in my way. Maybe somebody was trying to hide the bench. I don't know. Let's see. Hmm... Well, I'm not seeing anything. What's this? So this is from uh, someone else. Someone else who's uh, homeless, who stays at the Saltfield Shelter. This is Gunnar Hansen. And I believe there's an item we pick up right here. Yes, there is. Acrylic paint thinner. Hopefully we're not robbing a homeless person. That that would be cruel. I don't know why a homeless person would have acrylic paint thinner, though. A anyway, very, very odd. Let's meet Gunnar. Let's meet Gunnar. He's at this shelter. Shelter for the homeless. So what do you want from me? Wow, I found him right away. Hey, Gunnar, do you know Elam? He's dead. And I didn't know him very well. Oh, well, what about Amos? I haven't seen him in years. But I know who you can talk to about Amos. Oh, great. Who? I've got his contact info on my phone. But I've forgotten it in my harborage. You have a harborage? 
Yes, uh, that's where I stay when they don't let me in here. For being too tipsy. I'll point it out on a map for you. Okay, so it's not really a harborage. It's where he stays when they're not going to let him into the shelter. Okay, I can find that area. Oh, and I also left my deodorant there. Your deodorant? Oh no! Well, we've got to get this guy some deodorant. He's starting to smell. 